What do you think, Dick? New competition, same success? Let's hope so, because the loser gets to watch from the stands after this third round game between the Connecticut Huskies and the UCLA Bruins. This is where both teams wanted to be, Dick. Let's not wait any longer to get this one started. Points of emphasis, Dick. What do you got for us? First off, they should look for second chance points by crashing the offensive glass. They may have a slight edge there, which they should try to exploit. Secondly, don't be afraid to mix it up defensively. Trap, press, play some zone. Anything that may force some turnover. Finally, encourage all players to be somewhat aggressive at the offensive end. Spread out the attack. The teams are ready to go, and we're ready for the tip. So here we go. Ten on the shot clock. Bucket. Well, whose team Temple went out? That's a question right here, Dick. You know, Brad, Temple is always important. Every team has their philosophy, and it's up to the players to follow the game plan. Misses the second. Pushes it up. Tries one from three-point land. Comes up empty. Tries for two. The land. Both teams looking to get things going here. Kicks it out. Looking for the off wall screen. He tries the three ball. Sinks the shot. Hey, he should know by now you don't leave your guy open. Not a very smart move. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Cross court. For two. He may be in some trouble here. Gave it up. They're off into transition. Goes up for two. Up and in. Hey, Brad, it's embarrassing to get scored on like that. For the bucket. And he missed. Tries for two. The land. Timeout's called. Dick, you think the coach is trying to slow up this run a little? Absolutely. He looks calm over there on the sideline, but I bet he's steaming inside. Back to the action now in the half court. Let's see what they set up, Dick. For two. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, how about this crowd? They're enjoying this close matchup, and there's nothing better than a close game during tournament time. All right, thanks, Aaron. EA, of course, our third member, getting that additional insight and dealings from the sideline. Out of both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Pushes it up. 
He takes the open jumper. The missed shot. The coach now preaching defense. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Ten seconds remaining on the shot clock. Now they work it around the perimeter. He puts up the J. Missed the jumper. Pushes it up. Lobs it. Off the rim and no good. Wide open. No good. On the dribble, gives it up. He just can't escape the pressure. What a great... He rejects it. It's a block party out there. Gave it up. Goes up for two. In and out. Pushes it up. For the bucket. Way off target. Up and in. There's a look at the current tempo for the game. Hey, currently the tempo is definitely on the high side, Brad. Barry's at home. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He shoots from long range. He couldn't get it to fall. And the ball goes out of play. Ball's coming from the sideline. Great block shot. Off the rim and no good. Shot clock is dead. Takes the jumper. Off the mark. They get an open three. He gets it to go. This is getting ugly. Hey, if you can't check your man, it's up to the coach to recognize that and make an adjustment. Can't get it to go. At the end of the first half, the Huskies are up by 10. One half of basketball is finished, Dick. What about those points of emphasis? I think they've done an insufficient job so far and do not seem prepared. We covered some important points during the pregame, and I don't think they've achieved any of them. They must do a much better job in the second half. Okay, there you have it. One more half of basketball remains, and we'll see how the teams address these points of emphasis. Number 23 provided the offensive spark for the team in the first half, Richard. Absolutely. He's simply trying to put his squad in the best possible position to win this ball game. How much more can you ask from a star player? Tries for two. The land. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Erin. Cross court. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork, really. He makes the block.
Nick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. For the bucket. Off the rim and no good. For two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Now looking to create with a ball screen. And a pick and roll is one play that so many teams use these days. A great way to buy a step for the dribbler. Kicks it out. Jumper. Jumper didn't look pretty, I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. Throws it up. Goes up for two. Up and in. The D has no energy left on offense. Their life is being sucked out of them right now in the defensive end. Lays it up. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Coach has been pretty active over here on the sideline, providing some quality feedback to his players. I overheard him saying that he really likes the manner in which they've been playing. The up-tempo style is what they're known for and what they've been demonstrating so far. Don't look for that to change. Aaron Andrews, our sideline correspondent, as usual, providing that extra bit of insight. A little two-man action. Ten on the shot clock. For the bucket. The land. Looking for a good shot. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? The Huskies, if I've heard correctly, will be trying to increase the tempo of this game. They want to push the ball and almost force the issue when it comes to attacking. Is this the right thing to do at this point in the game? I guess we'll find out. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. Lobs it inside. Up and in. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad and Dick, what a turn of events down here on the sidelines. The coaches and the players, they are feeling the heat, the message from the bench, defensive stops, and do it now. All right, thanks, Aaron. Tries for two, perfectly executed. The Huskies are looking to slow things down a little bit. Hey, time to execute and take good shots. Pull-up jumper, left side. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. What kind of player do you need in order to play up-tempo, Dick? You need to have players who have the aggressive mindset at the offensive end and can really impose their will at the defensive end. It's not easy to find those type of players, Brad. And it's in and out. Rims out. For two. The layup is good. Goes up for two. Can't put it down. Alley-oop. Here they go into transition. Look at this going coast to coast. Nobody stops the ball. I mean, he just has an open lane, man. You can put a Mack truck through there. Goes up for two. The land. 
The Bruins prefer a more balanced attack. They play up-tempo at times, and then really settling in in the half court at other times. You know, balanced teams will definitely give you a combination of the two styles. Some teams will play up-tempo on offense and be half-court oriented at the defensive end. Other balanced teams may play in the half-court offensively and really look to pressure their opponents in the full court. And a momentary look from three-point land. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, altering shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. He rejects it. What are your final thoughts regarding some of our points of emphasis earlier in the game, Dick? Every game, there's a plan, Brad. If you execute the game plan, you usually win. Occasionally, you'll play a better team, and they'll just beat you because they're more skilled. However, with a solid game plan and the ability to play your team style, anything can happen. Thanks, Richard. It's all about playing your team style, and time and time again, that's what it comes down to.